What? <laughs> Your crunching is so yeah. long. <laughs> Trash. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Silence. Welcome back to Broccolomi. That's me because I'm wearing my broccoli wig. But we're not gonna eat broccoli today. We're gonna eat a lot of other stuff. I have a very dramatic background story for this video, which is that I had a condition <laughs> two weeks ago, which shall not be named. The boy has come to die. The boy has <laughs> Wait, I need something else. Harry Potter. <laughs> Maybe I should just do Professor McGonagall. <laughs> yeah, I had this condition, but now I'm totally fine again, happy and well, and ready to film this video. The um, aftermath of this condition is me not really having a taste, a sense of taste. And that's really depressing, and I wish not even my dearest enemy, because food, as you guys know, is a very important part of me and of my channel. And just eating food that I normally love and that fills me with joy and happiness and not tasting anything is just, yeah, very depressing. I mean, my taste is not like 100% gone. Like, I can still probably, you know, tell the difference between a tomato and a cucumber. There's definitely a huge chunk missing, which uh, makes eating a very sad experience. So I was thinking, maybe I'm just gonna try food that I don't like. Food that people don't like in general or actually also food that might bring my taste back but that's just a myth because i asked you guys on instagram if you know any tricks or tips or whatever to get the taste back and i mean obviously there's not really a method that's for sure gonna get it back but i've heard that some certain stuff might help maybe it's the placebo i don't know i mean i don't mind the placebo as long as it works so i uh collected some stuff i asked you guys what you want me to try now that my taste is gone and yeah maybe I'm actually gonna like some of this stuff or I'm just not gonna taste it or it's gonna destroy me it's one of these three things and I would say we're just gonna start with the best one that's just gonna warm us up a little bit for this video <laughs> and of course I'm talking about absinthe <laughs> what is it called in English absinthe do you guys know absinthe <laughs> This is, I think, the strongest alcohol there is out there. I don't even want to show it too much because this looks scary. This has 69%. <laughs> And this was apparently invented by William Shakespeare. It's a Hamlet on the back of it. This is this not, is a, not book. a book. Oh my god, it literally says... Do not drink a shot. I was literally ready to just drink it as a shot. Well, some people in my DM said that this is gonna bring your sense of taste back. I don't know about this. I mean, some people also said vodka. I don't really know how it would bring your taste back. Maybe because you're just so shocked while drinking it. Maybe I'm actually not gonna taste this. <laughs> And it's gonna just taste like water. I mean, can you actually like really taste alcohol or can you just feel it? Yeah. I also have to mention, I do smell things. Like my um, sense of smell is not gone, so it doesn't smell like anything. I just want to use this opportunity to say drink responsibly and don't drink this. I'm just gonna mix my little absinthe cocktail. Why is it green anyway? <laughs> do you want to be broke alone so bad? Oh, the color! <laughs> Why does it look so milky? Minty. And then you want to put some sugar. Okay. Here's our mysterious mixture. It looks really pretty. Oh, now I smell it. it smells a bit like Jägermeister. I do this for Harry Potter. <laughs> Cheers. It's just very bitter. Ooh, ooh, ah, ooh, oh, I feel it here. Oh, it burns! I, 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 I. It's very bitter in my mouth. I can taste the bitterness. I wonder if it actually is bitter. <laughs> just a little nippy nappy snoopy snap. Just so you can say, I tried absinthe by Shakespeare. It smells like woozle. Oh. What, what is woozle? Zambuza, Zambuka. Zambuza. Vincent is trying. What do you think? You like it? Not very bitter. 
It's not bitter. Do you think it was bad? Because I don't think it was that bad. I mean, I put a lot of sugar in it. It leaves the weirdest feeling on my tongue. It wasn't good, but something happened inside of me. It did not kill me as expected, but I mean, the video is not over yet. Next, we're just gonna, you know, chill a little bit. And a lot of people said I should just try the Bertie Bot's beans because we all know they have some not good flavors in them, like puke or egg, fart. What was that? Ah, rotten egg. And I just wanna know if I can actually, you know, taste if it's a bad one or a good one. It's a white one. Which one? Do you want this one? I don't taste anything. <laughs> Maybe this one. Did I get rotten egg? But actually, it's not bad. This is giving me something. But I think it's supposed to be bad, but I like it. <laughs> dirt. Oh, I can taste the dirt. Dirty. Christina came through with her dirt. Maybe I can actually just taste the bad ones. <laughs> Let me try soap. No, soap is not working. It's just sweet. Soap is a good one. <laughs> For you, maybe. Yeah, soap For is. For you, maybe. <laughs> Grass. That's also too sweet. This is depressing. Apparently I can taste, I mean I knew it before, but I can taste like sugar if it's sweet but not like the nuances of it. Yeah, I could not tell you what flavor this is actually. I really like it. It tastes like waking up, looking outside and seeing the fog, like a foggy nature. Can you try this and tell me if this is rotten egg? No. I think this is booger. Did you know booger in German is Nasenpuppe? That was kind of sad. I don't know what I expected. I really hope I could just taste some earwax, you know? The next thing we're gonna try is a kiwi. And you might think this is actually not that bad, but this is the one thing I actually don't like just because of the feeling it gives me in my mouth because the acid in there just really kind of, you know, brings tears to my eyes. And I do not enjoy the eating experience with kiwis. So I was thinking, if not, if now, not now, when, when then. So I'm just gonna try it and see if I still hate it or if I maybe like it or don't taste it It's sour. Maybe it's just not ripe. I Can still feel the acid just don't understand how people can enjoy the feeling of a kiwi in their mouth And before people say it's just because I ate the peel It's still very flavorless, but if I would eat a kiwi, I would probably do it right now because it's okay right now. Okay, now we're gonna eat something suggested by Laura Celeste 7. And of course she would say cat food because that's just a logic reply to my question. Vincent looks very concerned about this one. <laughs> Look, it's very small. That's it. It tastes like... Knäckebrot. It tastes like a mix of Schwarzbrot and Knäckebrot. It's actually not bad. <laughs> I don't know what flavor this is. We just put it in this and this is just like a bucket. I can kind of taste something. Is that my actual food that I should eat now? It really is not that bad. I kind of feel barbaric. <laughs> Maybe you should also try the wet food. <laughs> oh, I still have the feeling of the kiwi in my mouth. I hate this feeling. I don't know. There's something very weird happening in my mouth. Now it's time to try a pomelo. Pomelo. It's this. This was actually not a suggestion from you. This was a suggestion from my brain because I saw people eating this on TikTok, but I saw people try it with vinegar and soy sauce, like dipping it in there. And they said it's really good like this. If there's something I can taste, it's like salty stuff. So I was thinking maybe this is like my thing. Also vinegar is like really strong. So I feel like this could actually be something for me right now. It looks like it has tentacles. Does it look good? Does it look, is it fine? It's like, tastes like a grapefruit, like a sweet grapefruit or something. And Vincent said he likes it very much. Vincent is your man when it comes to citrus fruits. And soy sauce. So this is what my fruit looks like. My fruit, this is my fruit. In other videos that I've seen, it looked more pink. I don't know if this yeah, one is right. So... It's not a good one? I'm just gonna try it. Hey? That is the weirdest thing I've ever tasted. Who thought of this? Mariah Carey, I think. That's interesting. I can taste the vinegar and the soy sauce. This is not normal, the way it crumbles, right? It tastes like sushi. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like we just had a bad pomelo. Ah, it's way pinker. That is so weird. What the fuck happened to my taste? 
I think it's a good mixture. I'm not one to tell you if this is worth the hype right now because, well, you know why? But we had Vincent try it and he said this is unnecessary. So we have to trust Vincent in this case. You can always trust me. But people just have different tastes mm. and like different things and you don't like potatoes. So that already says a lot. Jigglypuff in German is actually Pumalov. Next we're gonna try something suggested by Please Don't Tell My Mom, love this name. They suggested I should try really spicy ramen, which definitely makes a lot of sense, I think. Of course, I always have some really spicy ramen at home. In this case, we have the Bulldog Hot Chicken Flavor Ramen, two times spicy. And normally, I cannot even handle the normal spicy. The Samyang noodles, they just burn away everything inside of my body. Yeah. Two times spicy should be the right pick for when I can't taste anything. The thing is, I do still feel... <laughs> I don't think this will work, but I'm still gonna try it just for the sake of science and for please don't tell my mom. I'm back with my noodles. Somebody just wrote me a DM on Instagram and saying I look like their mom with this wig. <laughs> and I can honestly see it. I kind of also look like my mom. I feel like this is such a mom hairstyle, especially with the behind the ear thing. I can see it. Yeah, because your mom doesn't have this hairstyle. Two times spicy? Easy today. Okay, let me try it. How can people... Eat this! Ow! It just hurts! It literally just uh, hurts. <laughs> to answer your question, it doesn't taste like anything. It just burns. If I, you know, cut your two legs off, I don't think you would be quiet or you would be like, that's unpleasant. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so um, that was absolutely horrible. I mean, I already expected that I would taste the spice, obviously, but I don't know, it really still caught me off guard. I think we just really have to reset our taste buds now or whatever is left of our taste buds. And we're gonna try something Selena Maria recommended. Center shock wird alle Geschmacksknospen neu kalibrieren, ich schwöre. Which basically means that these little babies right here are gonna calibrate <laughs> our taste buds. What is it in English? Calibrate. The judges and I will calibrate. Calibrate. So we're gonna calibrate our taste buds with center shock. I don't know if this is an international thing. I don't think it is. Where is it? Where is center shock from? From center. Center claws? <laughs> These are like very, very popular, very, very sour gummies or I think it's even chewing gum. This is something we always bought at the kiosk when we were little after school. Back then I always thought it was the most sour thing ever and I thought I was gonna die. So maybe that's what I need right now. What flavors do we have? Cherry, apple, funky monkey, mystery. What a skull flavor. We have one cola. That's like getting the Willy Wonka chocolate. Let me just try funky monkey. This is what it looks like. That is not sour. I cannot finish this video before I try skull flavor because this is gonna kill me, hopefully. Ugh. It tastes exactly like the other one, just without any sugar. This is not sweet. It's just sour. Crazy, I'm dying. Good dying impression. There's so much chewing gum in my mouth. The flavors are melting on my tongue. Can I blow a bubble with this? That was a very pleasant experience because I could really taste the sourness. Very cool, very cool. Into do you also want one? Are you so, so full from your eggplant that you can taste so well? And I'm definitely not jealous. Next, we're gonna try something which supposedly will also make your taste buds feel better. It will cure you, apparently. And this gets suggested by so many people. I'm gonna eat an onion, like an apple. I think it's gonna be good because this, like onion and garlic, is like really strong flavor which apparently activates your taste buds again. So do people say. Peeling an onion is how I wanted to spend my night. Oh, I love the way onions look without the peel. They're so shiny and beautiful. Looks yummy, doesn't it? Like an apple, like a ghost apple. The apple died. Oh. The thing is, it's not bad, but it gives you wasabi wa vibes. Oh god, that's so hard to say. <laughs> you know, it just goes straight to your nose. I mean, I kind of do taste a little bit, but it's not the taste that I know or that I expected from an onion. I mostly just feel it. I feel the oats of this onion in my nose. And obviously, it's also spicy, but not the chili spice. I fucking love onions. Do you know what's amazing? Just like some bread or toast with cream cheese, tomatoes and onions and salt and pepper. 
could eat it every day. Cool, cool job. And now let's get to the last thing I'm gonna try and that is also a very popular recommendation from you guys. So, Palo Durarudola suggested veggies and pussy. Ali Mad Cat said Sustroming. Sustroming is a fermented herring in a can. Obviously, fermented food can taste very different and strong. It's from Sweden. It's gonna explode! Yeah. <laughs> it's like very, um, you know, but that's obviously what happens if it's fermented and it just stands there for a long time. Yeah, this is probably the smelliest fish you will ever smell. I don't know if you've ever seen people try it, but they die because it stinks so horribly bad and obviously also does not taste good. I actually don't know if it tastes the way it smells, but obviously a lot of people can't even get to try it because the smell is so incredibly bad. And as I said, I do smell things, so I don't really know if that's gonna work out with me today. But I ordered this like a year ago because I knew the day would come when I want to try Sustroming. <laughs> this is actually already expired. This expired in uh, February, but it's fine. It's canned food. This actually cannot expire. I don't think we're gonna be able to tell anyway. <laughs> I'm really scared opening it here, so we thought I'm just gonna go um, onto the balcony and open it there. Because because if I open this and this is gonna explode, we have a real big problem, Houston. <laughs> yeah, let's just, you know, go outside and try some strumming. <laughs> no water for us. <laughs> I was just gonna ask you if you tested this. Oh, no. I was just gonna say we're gonna fill it up with water and then open it inside the water because I'm actually really scared of the fermenting bomb in there. I feel like I'm doing something illegal. What if a neighbor is coming? So I'm just gonna put it into the water and then stab it. <laughs> Can't get through. <gasps> it's a It's a whirlpool. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's a really good fart. A really strong one. Interesting. Very interesting. Do you not want to touch the fish water? <laughs> right there. Ah, oh, Vincent, what did you eat for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, I think it has deflated, Vincent. I think, oh, I think we oh, we can open it now. <laughs> this fish really does not want to come out. Okay. What a stinks. Oh. <laughs> oh god, it's all in my hands. No, I got it, guys. But at what price? <laughs> Here it is, the sir strumming. I don't even know where is the. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm literally not kidding right now. I mean, it's literally just herring. I like herring. Herring butter. Oh, there's probably so many like bones in there. What do I try? Which part of this? Ugh, I'm not kidding right now, Vincent. <laughs> I, I can feel my this, onion coming back up. The people in the videos, they were not over exaggerating. There's so many bones! <laughs> it's a whole herring, but it's only the bones! <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna, you know, get some of that good old soup here. There you have it! This? Yeah. There's so many bones. Vincent, I cannot try this. How am I supposed to try? How am I supposed to try that? <laughs> oh, it's on my head. <laughs> I really don't want to be dramatic, guys. I really don't want to be dramatic. This is not giving me the vibes. <laughs> it's very salty, yeah. Do you want to try? <laughs> oh man, I really want to be that drama queen, but I cannot stand this right now. It's so salty. <laughs> Sodium queen. <laughs> Let's go down again. Actually, I didn't imagine it being that bad because I always thought all the people's reactions I saw were just like over exaggerating but this really hit the wrong spot with me and I can't even exactly tell you what it was. I think it was like the bones in there and like just the consistency. I think if you just get a little whiff of the smell, it's not that bad. But if you constantly smell it while opening it and like getting it out, I can only smell a fish now. I don't 
know, it's really bad. I mean, it's probably also somewhere in my wig now. I cannot even explain how intense the smell is. It just sticks to everything. I'm so sorry, Sweden. <laughs> I think you could probably eat it if you can get past the smell and the consistency and like all the bones in there. Please, people from Sweden or people who are familiar with this fish, let me know how this is supposed to be eaten and if it's supposed to be eaten. I mean, there has to be a reason why it's produced. I mean, it's also like kind of a waste of food because obviously I could not eat it and I kind of feel bad that I have to throw this away now. I wouldn't even give this to Voldemort. That was everything I'm gonna try today. It's already very late. I did not have a very nice dinner tonight, but to be honest, I can't even have a nice dinner because I can't taste it. So what does it even matter? For real, the thing I tasted the most was the rotten egg jelly bean. <laughs> I mean, maybe the, the onion actually cured me and I was able to taste the surströming, but I don't know. Thank you for your amazing suggestions. <laughs> I just released my own book. Maybe you want to check that out. Link is in the description down below. It's a really fun challenge book, including all the challenges of my challenge, uh, ch chal channel, channel, YouTube channel. And also there's a cool giveaway connected to this book. So you can win like a weekend in Berlin with me and Vincent and just, you know, stuff with me and Vincent because it's my giveaway and my book. That's all I wanted to say for the end of this video. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media, which is Naomi John on Instagram. Naomi John on TikTok. Oh, and the Naomi John on Twitter. Oh yeah. I'm gonna just take my onion and I'm gonna go my own way. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye. <laughs>